Is that a mini Kong? Rise together or fall alone. Welcome to Should You Watch This with the Popcorn Priest, a weekly podcast where movie enthusiasts, current and ex-movie theater projectionists, new and old friends, take the time to talk about a movie that we just watched and answer that very question. Should or shouldn't you watch this? Bow to your new king. We thought Kong was the last of his kind. What else were we wrong about? Ready PG-13. Welcome back to Should You Watch This? I apologize for my long delay. We've had a few weeks off. One of those weeks was a, a, a fifth week. So we didn't do one, and we missed a couple weeks. So we apologize, but we're back. And joining me today is a very special guest. My own flesh and blood. You are my son. It's my son, my actual son, Connor. Welcome back to the show, my man. Thank you. Hello. (laughs) Connor joined us for... Connor and Kayla, my twins, joined us for Karate Kid. Yep. And also, you guys were on, we did Rise of Skywalker, which which Star Wars, it was the last Star Wars movie, right? I think, yeah. You guys were on the show. So, welcome back, man. Yep. So, the description for this one, we're reviewing Godzilla, it's just an X. So, Godzilla plus Kong, Godzilla with Kong, Godzilla times Kong, not really sure, but this is a Godzilla X Kong colon... The New Empire from 2024. Mm -hmm. The description for this one, two ancient titans, Godzilla and Kong, clash in an epic battle as humans unravel their intertwined origins and connection to Skull Island's mysteries. Do you like that description? Yeah. Okay. I don't really like it. I think it's kind of, I don't think they clash. They kind of clash. Yeah. But then they. Godzilla happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, and part one, keep in mind, my son, this is a spoiler-free zone, so let's try to keep our spoilers to a minimum. (laughs) Okay, continuing the description and details, directed by Adam Wingard. Wingard. This guy directed a lot of horror movies, which you or I should not watch, so I'm not even going to mention them. (laughs) Okay. Uh, but he did direct Godzilla vs. Kong, which we both liked a lot. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. All right. Top build stars, Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree, Henry, and Dan Stevens. And also, Kaylee Hattel. Hattel. Hattley? Not sure how you say her name. Kaylee. Lee. Kaylee. Runtime of one hour and 55 minutes. Rated PG-13. Genre on Rotten Tomatoes says, this is crazy. Sci-fi, oh, well, this isn't crazy, but sci-fi action and adventure compared to IMDb. This is what IMDb says, and this is crazy. I've never seen this before. Action, epic, disaster, globe-trotting, adventure, kaiju, supernatural fantasy, action, adventure, fantasy, sci-fi thriller. I mean, did they just throw every single genre in the books? Put it into a bowl and mix it up? I am totally confused. <laughs> I am too. Like, that's so many genres. But I didn't know kaiju was a genre of movie. But apparently it is, according to IMDb. Speaking of IMDb, they give it a rating of 6.1 out of 10 from 96,000 reviews. Rotten Tomatoes, however, gives us a 54% from 248 critics. And 91% from 2,500 plus audience ratings. So the audience liked it way more than the critics. Is that what that's what that's saying, my, my, okay. my boy? Where to watch this right now? Max has this Fandango at home, Apple TV, Prime Video. You can rent it, but Max has it if you have that streaming service. So check it out there. At the time of this recording, you know, we struggle, Connor, with finding stuff on streaming. We think it's there. We go to watch Jurassic Park. It's gone. Yep. So we rectified that, though, for your birthday, right? Yes. Yeah, we bought you 
all five Jurassic Park movies on 4K. Yep. So we can watch them whenever we want, which is what we recommend to all our listeners. All right, buddy. This is your first time coming to the show doing popcorn reviews the reviews. Are you ready, dude? Sure. Here we go. Popcorn reviews the reviews with his own son. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. So, dude, what we do is I read, there's three one out of ten reviews, so people who hated the movie, and then three ten out of tens, which people love the movie. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to read all ones and then all tens, or do you want me to read the one, do do a whiplash where we go back and forth? Mm, Let's just do the bad ones and then the good ones. All right, I like that. Okay, so the first bad review, this guy... Ali, a, 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 says, did a seven-year-old make this movie? That is rude. That's rude, right? He's, so a, 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 says, what a waste of time. Totally a brainless movie, which made no sense whatsoever. I think the worst ever movie I ever saw of Godzilla or Kong, whether at individual level combined totally ruined i don't think i will be watching any more godzilla or kong movies as this movie made a damage to the image and reputation i had for such movies oof connor just put his hand over his heart because he's feel sad about that review i also don't agree with a quiche a quiche all right the next one out of ten per your request had to drop my iq to watch this movie you know what an iq is not really <laughs> It's, it's a test people can take to tell you how smart you are. Oh. And he's saying that he became more dumb by watching this movie. That is also rude. <laughs> uh, Glenn, Taker, Glenn Taker says, and he gives us a bullet point, like he's given a PowerPoint presentation, okay? So the first bullet point says, bland and pointless story. Next, he says, overacting for Kong Godzilla creatures. They are creatures, not humans. Yeah, but... Yeah. I mean, everything has feelings. (laughs) Yeah. Unnecessary dialogue. Overused CGI. Very unnatural. He says one out of ten stars. I don't agree with Glenn either. Me either. All right, last one out of ten. Dumbzilla and Kong. Hmm. Somebody doesn't like Godzilla. Somebody doesn't like Godzilla. His, they say her, their name or username is Gramsdale. Gramsdale says, everyone involved in the making of this absolutely dreadful waste of time and money should be thoroughly be ashamed of themselves. The writer should never be allowed to pen another draft of anything, not even a text message or fill in a birthday card to their own parents. One out of ten. That is rude to the people who made it, uh, the movie. Yeah. All right. Should we get to the positive ones? Yes. In our family, we try to be positive, right? Yeah. So let's enjoy this, okay? Yep. First 10 out of 10. Why compare this to minus one? So he's, saying, he's talking about Godzilla minus one, which we also watched yep. recently. They're different films, he says, or they say. The one and only Chris Morgan. So they gave, he's given his full name. He wants us to know who he is. Chris Morgan, the one and only Chris Morgan says, comparing this film to Minus One seems odd because they're completely different. This movie is filled with action and takes clear inspiration from the Showa era Godzilla films. Not really sure of the Showa is. Are you, do you know what that is? No, but I agree with him. Okay. On the other hand, Minus One is more serious in tone. While this one is, to put it mildly, a bit goofy. (laughs) If you expect the same level of seriousness from both films, you'll be let down by this one. 10 out of 10 stars. Yeah, he's right. Like, don't compare this to Minus One. Minus One is a different movie. Mm -hmm. It's made by the Japanese who invented Godzilla, and they wanted to give a different take on it. We in America, we just want big explosions and huge fights. But both are good, right? Yep. They stand alone. All right, second 10 out of 10. A great... Monsterverse movie says Jahav Jahaya Zizi. 
Jahaya Zizi. <laughs> Godzilla X Kong colon the new empire is the best monster movie, monster verse movie yet. It is the most enjoyable film of the year. It has great groundbreaking visual effects. The cinematography is great. The writing is good. The epic monster battles are great and also awesome. 10 out of 10. I agree. Mm, thank you. Nice. All right, last 10 out of 10. Really? That's what they say. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious about this one. I can't remember why I selected this one, but Mr. Muffin says, Okay, people, this is it. This is a monster movie, not Gone with the Wind. You don't know what Gone with the Wind is. It's not about farts. Okay. <laughs> what are you people who gave a four-star review expecting? Shakespeare? For what it is, it was great. No one is expecting any of these actors to be up for an Academy Award. I'm a huge Monsterverse fan, and I say keep them coming. I'll see them all. Some of you think you are movie critics, and maybe you should quit your day job and change careers. Remember, the critics get it wrong sometimes. Lastly, for those of you who actually read these reviews and take these to heart, I pity you. You will miss out on some really fun movies. Mr. Muffin gives us 10 out of 10. I like his review better than all the other ones. I agree. I, like <laughs> I agree. All right, dude. That's all of our reviews for today, but we're going to get into the most coveted category of should you watch this. Should you watch this? I give him five stars. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. Sorry. Five reasons why you should watch Godzilla X Kong colon The New Empire from 2024. And this is a live should or shouldn't you watch this with my son. Let's get five reasons why you should watch this movie. Well, it's good. Okay. Number one, Connor says it's good. Okay. That's one reason to watch it. What, what's another reason? Well, I mean... If you like the movies and you don't know what's going to happen, so you better just watch and see if it if it's good or not. Hopefully yeah. it's good. Yeah. Uh, what I would say, too, is it's in the title. Godzilla X Kong. So this is the first time they're going to fight together. Like, that's that's a, a, one of the best reasons to watch this, is you're going to see them fight together. Uh -huh. Plus, so that's three. We've got three reasons so far. I would say another reason is the villain there's a new villain mm -hmm. there's new there's someone well there's multiple people that they fight mm -hmm. godzilla fights someone we won't say who it is yet because we're in spoiler free zone and his mount oh what do you mean his mount um, <laughs> it's okay i what? don't i don't want to spoil it <laughs> i mean like <sighs> just spit it out dude shimu Oh, is that who Godzilla fights? Is Shimu? Yeah, Shimu the Ice Kaiju. Okay, well, it's a little spoilery, but it's pretty dope, that fight. Mm -hmm. I wish I actually wish that fight would have gone a little longer, to be honest. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, so we got we got some new, new Kaijus, or yeah, Kaijus to fight. Mm -hmm. Titans. Titans, Kaijus, whatever you want to call it. See, that's a question I have for you, because you, you watch these a lot. More than me. I thought kaijus were the ones in Pacific Rim. They are. In Godzilla's universe, they call them titans. Okay, so they don't really call them kaijus in Godzilla universe. They yeah. call them titans. Other people call them kaijus. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe it sounds cool or something. All right, so so we need to be... We keep it straight here, should you watch this. So let's, let's call them titans, okay? Okay. All right. So we get to see some new titans... And what would be the last reason to watch this movie? I mean, it was pretty confusing when a Titan that died on the other movies came back. Yeah, we won't say who it is, but that was, I agree. I actually agree. That's a good point. There, someone comes back and we thought that they were gone, mm -hmm. which it was confusing, but also awesome. Yes. Okay. All right. That's all the reasons. Any other reasons that we might have missed? Well, I don't know. All right. I like it. All right, let's get into by the numbers. Blank. For <laughs> sake, just give me the number. <laughs> Connor gave me a little, a little, <laughs> a little face. Those are some potty words. We know, yeah. yeah but uh, we'll just move on, okay? By the numbers. 
All right. What do you think? This is going to be funny for, for me only, probably. But what do you think this movie cost to make? Let's see. Hmm. Because you don't really know about this stuff. So just give me your guess. It'll be fun to hear. Um, Two million. It cost $135 million to make. Okay. The people that hate this movie should pay. <laughs> it took so much to do that. And it was good. And they don't like it. Yeah. That's sad. That is sad. So so this cost $135 million to make. But but guess what it made at the box office? Five hundred billion dollars. Whoa, that's pretty good. Five hundred and eighty six point seven million dollars. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. Five hundred and eighty six million dollars. So what do you think that means? I'll tell you what it means, but I want want to see if you can understand what what that means. If it costs 135 to make and it made 500, what do you think that means for us as moviegoers? Hopefully they'll make a new one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hopefully we're going to get another one. So Yes! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It made enough money that uh, they made a profit. And actually, it's become the fifth highest grossing film of 2024, which probably is different now because those numbers, uh, there's a bunch of movies that just came out like Deadpool that made it a ton of money, over a billion dollars. Mm. So it's probably on the top 10 of the highest grossing films of 2024. The highest grossing film of the MonsterVerse. So of all the monster movies, MonsterVerse, like Kong, Godzilla, any of the other movies, Skull Island, all of those movies combined, well, not combined, but it is at the top of that list. A sequel... I read up on this. This will make you excited. A sequel is set to be released on March 26, 2027. So that is three years from now. So you will be 14 years old. That's long. (laughs) But, well, Mario movie is going to come out. Yeah, we'll get a Mario movie before then. So that's something to look forward to. I agree. I like like where your mind's at, Connor. And also, give me a minute. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Con- Connor's just raising his his hands and and being really excited because he's he's pumped for another movie. All right, so this is really interesting too. With the net budget of 135 million, which we just said, this is the cheapest monster verse film to date. And I actually read up on this, and the the director said they got really good at figuring out the CGI and all the shots. So they were able to keep the budget lower and that actually made more money, which is really cool. The other number I have is the film released in 2024, exactly 10 years after the release of Godzilla, the film that launched the entire franchise, which is as long as you've been alive. You were one when the first Godzilla came out, and now we're here. <laughs> Connor's clapping. <laughs> All right, is there anything you want to talk about before we close this episode? Anything non-spoilery that you want to talk about before we get into next week's episode, which is going to be Spoiler Zone, where we can talk about whatever you want. Okay. What uh, movie is... what the? What is Godzilla X Kong on? Is it on Paramount Plus or something? It's on Max. Okay, if you have Max after this, go and watch it. Yes, exactly. That's Con- all I want to say. Connor's saying as soon as you this ends, you get up off your seat and you go get on Max and you watch Godzilla. That's what you're saying. And if there's commenting on here, comment down below. <laughs> comment <laughs> down below if if you you're rating yeah yeah see connor connor knows he knows the situation he knows what's going to help the algorithm i appreciate that man (laughs) all right at this point there will be spoilers up ahead so if you want to watch and then come back next week and join us for our breakdown of godzilla x kong colon the new empire from 2024 i am on the social media as i dare you to message the great popcorn priest at popcorn priest i love movies and would love it if you'd share the love. Share this with the movie lover in your life. For the cost of a cup of coffee, you can help the popcorn priest support his movie addiction and allow him to keep giving you these labor of love reviews by visiting the patreon.com forward slash popcorn priest for details. Lastly, the easiest way to support the show and the most free is like and subscribe. And like Connor said, give us some comments. Give us a five-star review. It's easier than trying to get Kong and Godzilla together after 10 years. 
And I want to say just a special thank you to my special guest, my own flesh and blood, Connor. Thanks for coming, man. Yep. Join us next week for part two of Godzilla and Kong Tag Team Deathmatch. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.